Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're checking out the third release in Bandai's Planosaurus line of educational dinosaur model kits here. The Stegosaurus, we've previously taken a look at the Tyrannosaurus and the Triceratops uh, in the first wave. And now this is the third one here. So as we've seen with these, they're really cool model kits because the, you, you allow you to build the skeleton and then you build the like, kind of skin of the dinosaur around that. And they're quite educational in the other materials that are included here in the box. So let's go ahead and start by taking a look around the box and its contents, and then we'll take a look at the kit. Just taking a look at the box art here, you can see the Stegosaurus and another one there in the background and you can see what the model kit is going to look like. Just built up there. This is definitely going to be with some painting there on the spikes and like for the eyes. I'm guessing we probably have stickers in here similar to what we did with the first two releases. The stickers were not really good, but we'll see what those look like here in just a moment. Here on the side of the box, you can see there is the number 03 in the lineup. And again, just mentioning how you can have the skeleton build and the dinosaur build here. On the bottom of the box, there's a full look at the skeleton build and then just some detailed images about some of the movement here of this. Talking about how the model is based on the latest theories, and you can read the instruction manual to learn more about that. And again, just kind of showing off how you can build it as one of two ways. And then a photo here showing it on the included base plate, again, like we saw with the first two releases. On the top of the box, this is just again talking about the information available in the instruction manual and the stickers. So yeah, it looks like we are gonna have stickers definitely for the eyes and for the orange highlights on the plates and the spikes, it looks like. Let's go ahead and get it opened up. As you can see, not a very thick box. There's those stickers right off the bat. Come back to those in just a second. I wanna take a moment here to look at the instruction manual as this is one of the best parts of these kits, to be honest. So the main focus is gonna be on the model kit, but this is certainly a really good and useful additional material as these are really great models for either for kids to build, you know, to give to your kids to build or to build them together with your kids because there's a lot of good information on here and even more information there if you scan the QR code. But like right here, it's talking about they had two brains. Uh, the world of dinosaurs is full of mysteries. Yes, and so you have it kind of set up as this kind of little comic strip there talking about that, which is all very cool. Opening it up, we've got a parts list and then there's more information as you're going throughout building. So the start of the build starts off with the head. So we've got information here related to uh, the head here. Weaknesses are protected by armor. So this kind of armor plating underneath the neck there is what it's talking about, which is a kind of newer theory. And you got little bits of information kind of along the way as you're going through the building process. So I had a lot of fun like building the first two with my kids. We would take a break through the building as we're going along to read these sections. My son is old enough that he can read these. I had to help with some of the more difficult words, but it's a nice thing to do kind of as you're going through the build. On the back side, some of the build is here in color as you get towards the end of that. And again, just some more information along the way. It's all very cool. And once you get to the very end there, a little bit about the tail feature. Of course, the signature spikes of the Stegosaurus. All right, let's check out these stickers here real quick, and then we'll take a look at the runners. Yeah, these are gonna be the same sticker decals that you have. So these are gonna be ones that are gonna go around the spikes on the tail. The thagomizers, if I remember correctly, is the right word for that. And then these go on the plates, and then you've got the name there in Japanese and in English to go on your base plate, and then stickers there for the eyes as well. Checking out the runners then, here is runner A, which obviously is gonna be all the parts for the skeleton in this kind of bone white. It's a little bit of an off-white color. We've got a few more of those here on runner B1, including the tail parts right there. Runner B2 is gonna be in a dark blue, but not quite as dark as what we've got on the other runners. Like for example, here's runner C, which is just basically gonna be our base plate. We can see it's in a darker blue. Probably easier to see here on the D runner. You can really see the difference here. So the D runner is gonna be the rest of our parts for the dinosaur build in this much darker uh, navy color. And compared with the runner B2 there, you can see. So it's gonna be kind of a two-tone blue color. All right guys, so here is the kit all built up and I'll admit to you guys, I did not build this at all. I just gave the kit to my kids who are five and seven and let them build it. And that's why I wanna review it for you guys just so you can see, you know, if you were to do the same, if you were to give it to your kids or build it with your kits, you, you know, as the model is, you know, sort of intended to be built, not using any tools at all, they're just snapping the parts off the runner and just putting it together, you know, not being experienced model builders. So if you see any like little, little bits of nub here and there around on the kit, some parts you know not fitting exactly quite right and that's just because that's just how it's going to be you know in the hands of kids that's what I wanted to show you guys uh, for this review so that's how you're going to see it you'll also notice that the stickers aren't on there I will demonstrate to you guys 
why the stickers are not on there in just a minute. We did try putting a couple of those on. We have the stickers on there for the eyes and that's all that's on there at the moment. As you can see, I do have the eye stickers on there, but like it's a little really tiny eye and like a big circle sticker. So they're kind of unsightly. I mean, if you look at it close, it looks bad. From far away, it looks fine. But then if, like from far away, you can't really even see the eye at all. So uh, just for these stickers here, for example. Again, these are kind of like the more rubbery kind of stickers than your average kind of seal, marking seal decals. And it's gonna be a similar thing like with the eyes, like from a distance, it's gonna look yeah, yeah, passable, but anything like up close, they're just not really going to look all that great. And I mean, it's an interesting effect to even attempt to do the um, gradient here kind of as they were with the orange yeah i mean again like as you can see there and then we also have stickers this is the ones that we tried putting on we had to give up on the stickers for the spikes at the end that kind of wrap around there that's just not going to happen and these are also the kind of stickers that will end up just kind of peeling up over time especially if you again if you're giving this to your kids or letting your kids play with it if they're playing with it these stickers are just going to kind of end up peeling up and just not really work out so well so we're just gonna do without those for the time being the ones which are sort of more useful would be the name stickers here which i've just put here on the base so here's your base plate for it. it's nothing really too fancy basically the stegosaurus just stands on it there's nothing to actually connect it to the base or anything at all and then for having it as the skeleton build you have all of these parts which are, you're gonna have to part swap so basically for the plates of course in order to keep the plates you know uh, fairly thin there on the back, those are parts that you're just going to have to swap out when you're changing between the dinosaur build and the skeleton build. So that's what we've got all these leftover parts here. But in its dinosaur form, the mouth doesn't open up, but the head will move up and down a little bit like so, kind of maybe sort of side to side, slightly like that. At the limbs, you have a couple of joints there, which are gonna give you a little bit of range of movement. And here at the back, as well a little bit of a bend there at the knee for example and then the tail basically you can just kind of raise that up and down a bit side to side not going to move side to side at all which is interesting seeing as how the stegosaurus is you know, kind of known for swinging his tail side to side but at least in the dinosaur form it's not swinging side to side but let's see about it in skeleton form perhaps all right, and here it is in the skeleton build. And I gotta say, once again, with this one, like with the Tyrannosaurus and the Triceratops, I almost like the look of this so much more uh, as the skeleton build, just because it's so much more interesting and it's just kind of much more, I don't know, realistic looking. That said, it was realistic looking as the dinosaur build as well, but it's very cool here as the skeleton. Of course, we have some points of articulation, which are kind of gonna break the illusion of it being a super realistic skeleton, obviously here in the neck. There's a joint there and a ball joint at the base. Same thing here, like with the limbs, they're attached via a ball joint. And then you have a joint in the knee, either at the front or here at the back, right there as well. The tail, as you're seeing, still just going up and down, not side to side. But again, that's going to kind of make it look a little bit awkward they're not quite as realistic but overall still very detailed and very nice representation here of the stegosaurus skeleton and again it was quite interesting another thing that was as i mentioned before nice about building this together with my kids or just letting them build it is they enjoyed also reading the sections uh, about the dinosaur itself so stopping a few times through the build uh, to read the sections for example about the hexagonal plates underneath the throat for example there hexagonal was a new word for my son so he struggled with it a bit at first but it was a good learning experience uh, you know to just practice some reading for my son who's seven and then for them to both enjoy just putting this model together and that's definitely i think the nicest point of this line here from bandai so i can highly recommend it to you guys if you're in a similar situation or if you just want just kind of nice simple dinosaur model to build up and just keep on your shelf or maybe you want to do something a little bit more with it build it into some sort of diorama or something like that i think could certainly be a lot of fun as well but that's gonna do it for this review guys hopefully that was helpful and useful for you guys you also have the mosasaurus and the spinosaurus are the next ones to be coming out in the line at the moment i'm not sure if they're going to continue the line and what else we might see in the future maybe a pteranodon or something like that i think could also be kind of interesting a uh, flying reptile to kind of go along with the line i think would be fun this is a very well-known 
sort of quote unquote dinosaur, even though it's not technically a dinosaur. But anyway, guys, if you want to check out some of these model kits or anything else from Bandai for yourself, you can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam Store. We've got all sorts of cool stuff there for you guys to check out. And if you would also like to like and or subscribe while you're here, make sure you don't miss any videos in the future. Really appreciate all your guys' support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.